on, boys. Come on. We own about 500 acres and we lease between 15 and 2,000 acres crop land and pasture land. We, this year we have probably around 280 acres of corn and about 800 acres of beans. We have a beef cattle cow-calf operation and uh, we also run stocker cattle mainly more in the winter than in the summertime but we have we uh, have a pretty good head count on the stocker cattle. We also raise some alfalfa hay for the horse market in this area. There's a, there's a good demand for that and we raise wheat not only for grain but for straw. There's a good straw market in this county. We have five children. I stayed at home and farmed till the first one started at UK. The circuit clerk approached me when I went in to get my driver's license renewed and she said, aren't you about time for you to um, come to work? And so she said, I think you'd really like it. I think you'd enjoy it. So I said, well, okay. And I started to work and I'm a deputy clerk at the circuit court. The love for farming is something that's born in you. It cannot be cultivated, it cannot be learned, it cannot be uh, given to you by somebody else. You've got to love it. And, and the, the, the issue about farming, the love for it is the payback. Uh, it's not monetary. Uh, I think I've been very fortunate myself in, in having everything that I ever want, you know, and it came from farming. Farming isn't something that you go to school and learn from books and I feel farming is born in me because as much as I enjoy working as a clerk, because I enjoy people, um, I still wish I was getting up and putting on my jeans with cow manure and going farming every morning. My farm operation is mostly a grain farm, uh, corn and soybeans. We have around 1,200 acres of corn and around 2,200 acres of beans. And I raise 12 and a half acres of tobacco. We have uh, some hay, 15, 20 acres of hay. And this past year I had about 150 acres of wheat that we double cropped to soybeans and very few head of cattle. Just, I think we have four head right now at this moment. But uh, uh, we mostly, uh, as, as here, uh, is an old, uh, we are a no-till operation and uh, saves on fuel and uh, protects the soil and uh, reduces uh, the need for a lot of chemicals. I'm very excited to be one of the finalists. Uh, my local county, actually the, the owners of this farm, is our county president, uh, nominated me and also the county president of Bullock County uh, next door. And uh, so anyway, they, uh, I was very honored that they uh, thought I'd be a good candidate for this award. I think it's a great way to showcase all that he does. Um, he works really, really hard, and I, I think it's a good, it's a great feeling for him to just get that recognition. He's a person that really stands up for his beliefs. Um, he's willing to take a stand for something that he really feels strongly about. And I think that's something that, that you don't see that often anymore. I try to use the latest technology. I try to keep my equipment updated so we don't have a lot of downtime. And uh, uh, being involved in Farm Bureau gives me the opportunity to, uh, to talk to other producers that are at the highest levels. and. Um, I can take that and share it with others and use it in my operation. You know, there are a lot of farmers in this state and I'm, I'm very honored to, to be considered. Uh, we all have a lot of work to do. We all work hard. We all do our best. We take care of the, the land we farm and uh, all of us really deserve an award.